today and I'm going to check the Bible story. The Bible title is The Walls of Jacob. Chapter 17, The Walls of Jacob. Joshua 6. Jericho is the four trees with the high strong wall. Look at this wall, said Joshua's people. How can we fight against the people of Jacob? How can we go over this wall? Joshua said, God will help us. God told Joshua, Joshua to tear the walls down. And Joshua told the people what God sought him. This is the way God sought me, taught me. They were going to tear the wall down by God's way. When on the first day Joshua and the Israel went to Jake Jericho. They marched around the city wall with the sound of trumpets. Then they one went back to their tents. What they're doing, the people of Jacob were carnious. They were afraid of the Israels. Why don't they fight against us? The Israel marched around the city again that next day. Actually, one person in here has come first as a spy, and one person has helped him them in Jericho. This is a Jericho person, not Israel. So they have promised that they will be safe from that. On the seventh day, Joshua and the Israel marched around the <coughs> wall of Jacob. It was different from the other six days. They marched around the city seven times. The people of Jacob were serious. What is going to happen? They will be very like... They will be very tired when they march around seven times, right? But they have still to obey God. When the people heard the sound of trumpet, they began to shout. The high wall of Jacob fell down in front of the people. Joshua and the Israel ran into Jacob and took over the city. Joshua shouted, God help us. So, God has helped Joshua. Chapters 18, The Strong Man, Samson. Judges 13 to 16. Samson was a strong man. God made him strong. Samson was strong enough to kill a lion without any things, okay? He killed the lion with his bird hand hands. Samson even won the battle of with Palestines. These day like and Palestines were making fun of the Israel people. The Palestine tried to kill Samson. They treated the Israel badly, but Samson was stronger than they were. I want to do whatever I want. Samson didn't obey God. 
Actually, God has told us through rules not drink wine, don't touch the dead things, and don't cut your hair. This is the most important thing. But Samson has drink the wine and touch the dead thing. But only one promise was keep on going, but you can read. I want to be whatever I want, Samson that didn't obey God. He didn't obey God, obey his parents. Samson also didn't want to make himself sad. He fell in love with a Philistine called Darila. The Philistine came to Darila. We will give you a lot some money. Find out what made Samson so strong. Darila kept asking him to tell her her the truth day and night. Samson gave in a say, My strength is in my long hair. Girl cut his long hair and called the Palestine. Samson's attention later made him sad. <coughs> Sorry. Samson woke up from the sleep, but Samson's strength was gone. He didn't listen to God. He didn't listen to the parents. And now Samson was weak. The Palestine put him in a jail. And they also treated. The Palestine made Samson blind. They made him work hard. They laughed at him. They were curly to him. Samson repented and his hair began to grow. One day, the Philistines were gathered at a great temple to worship their god. At the big party, the Philistines called Samson out. They made fun of him and they have worship and then to a false god. Samsung cut off the ropes around you. Ha ha ha. Samsung cut off the ropes around you. Ha ha ha. Samsung repented and prayed. God make me strong one last time. But please make me strong. Help me take re revenge on those Philistines. They're curly to the Israel. God made him strong one more time. Samson pushed the pillar pillars with all his might. The temple crushed down over the people in the temple. Well, 19 chapter, Ruth followed Naomi, Ruth 1 to 14. I'm going home, said Naomi. Naomi moved to Ma with her husband and her two sons a long time ago. There were a big famine in her hometown, Bethlehem. Naomi became old. Her husband and two sons died. Naomi was living with her daughters-in-law. I am going back to home, said Naomi. I will, I am going with you. I will go wherever you, you go. Your home will be my home. Your God will be my God, said Ruth, the second daughter-in-law. Ruth became, came to Bethlehem in, with Naomi. Ruth had to prepare food for Naomi. It was a harvest time in Bethlehem. Ruth gathered grains on their barley field and ate with Naomi. Boaz 
won the, the land. She takes good care of her mother-in-law. Ruth must be a good woman. Ruth must be a good woman, <laughs> said Boaz. Ruth gathered grains thicker slowly. Boaz helped Ruth gather more grains. He helped Ruth eat with other workers comfortable. Com comfort. Boaz was a kind, rich man. Naomi said to Ruth, In Israel, tradition with us er, to marry the closest relation relative. Boaz is the closest relative, and he's like you. Why don't you marry him? As Naomi said, Boaz and Ruth got married. God gave Ruth a very special gift. A baby boy obeyed random. No, Naomi and Ruth were very happy. God blessed you, Ruth. Yes, today I read the Bible stories, and next time I will read 20 chapters. God's man, Samuel. Samuel 1, Samuel 1, 2, 2. Then bye!